Interesting. Okay. Aaron, please go ahead. All right. Thank you very much, Matthew. So what I'm going to be talking about today is research that I've been doing over the past four years for my PhD investigating Japan-based language teachers writing for academic publication. But what I'm going to try to do is be a little bit more aspirational than informational, because as I'm getting toward the end of my PhD, I'm starting to think about how I can apply the tools I've developed to investigate one particular field in the academy to scientific knowledge production more generally. And first what I want to do is frame the problem that I'm trying to address. So this is the world, and then this is the world according to scientific publication volume. And you can see there's a number of places in the world that are drastically underrepresented when you look at how many publications they're producing. And um, what I'm trying to do is to look into the box of writing for publication. So any journal, its public face is the actual paper that's published, but behind that paper that's published is a series of submissions, reviews, and revisions that are masked by that public publication. And so what I'm trying to do is to open that box and to examine what happens in the process of writing for academic publication. And this is an example of a text history that I've reconstructed from one manuscript that was published in an SSCI-ranked journal. And what this does is it can show you the number of versions the manuscript went through. It can show you how the word count of the manuscript changed. It gives you an idea of the amount of change work that went into that manuscript at each of those steps. And then you also get some information about how it was evaluated. But what I really wanted to talk about today is what the potential is when you open up this box. Because when writing for academic publication is taught in postgraduate programs, if it's taught, it's often taught by people who are already experts in the field, who have already been quite successful in writing for publication. And um, what research has shown is that people who are really successful, what they've done is they've taken a number of different things that take time and effort to do, and they've kind of auto automated them. So they do a lot of things unconsciously. So it's very much like trying to teach somebody who's never ridden a bicycle to ride a bicycle. You get on a bicycle, there's things you do automatically, but to explain all of that to somebody who's trying to learn for the first time is really quite difficult. And so what I'm hoping to do is by looking at the minutia, the details that are involved in writing for academic publication, to make that more public, to expose the complexity that lies behind any published paper, and to break down the wall of access to scientific knowledge production. Thank you very much.